As somebody who's experienced migraines since I was about 12 years old, I always thought they were just really bad headaches. But the truth is migraines are actually a complex neurological condition, and they are usually the result of a genetic predisposition to aberrancies and how our brains process sensory stimuli. So in other words, we just have really sensitive brains. And if you experience migraines or somebody you know has migraines, you're probably pretty familiar with the concept of a trigger. Triggers can vary from one person to the next, but they're usually some form of sensory stimulus, whether it's a certain light, certain sounds or smells, or they can be due to changes in our environment. So for our external environment, fluctuations in weather patterns or barometric pressure, or internal environment, such as certain foods or ingredients in foods, dehydration, inflammation, or even changes in our hormone levels. Once we're exposed to a trigger, if that trigger reaches a certain threshold, we begin to see abnormal electrical and neurochemical changes that can occur all throughout the brain. This is why we tend to see such a wide variety of weird neurological symptoms that tend to be associated with migraine headaches. And in some cases, there might not be any headache at all.